Welcome to my channel. Wow, now they decide to play music. I'm on break at work and it was super quiet. I thought it was gonna be an amazing time to film this video, but suddenly they put on the music and there's a bunch of kids in the playground. Anyways, hopefully you guys can hear me. <clears throat> Today's video is going to be about how and why I went natural or when and why I went natural and how. Um, funny story, this happened by sheer stupidity on my part. I went natural in January 2017 and I went natural because, like I said, sheer stupidity on my part. So I grew up getting perms. I think my first perm, I was like maybe seven or eight because my mom just didn't know how to deal with my hair, our hair, me and my sister's hair. Although my sister's hair is way softer than mine. Mine is just super thick and it just has a mind of its own. And yeah, my mom was not built for our my kind of hair especially. So we went to visit my dad in Georgetown. We're living in the country area. We went to go visit my dad in Georgetown and my aunt, I think she gave me a press with the hot comb. I was in love, like, I loved it so much. I think I probably begged them to straighten my hair or how I can keep it straight or something like that. That's how come I ended up getting a perm. But it's because like back home, like where we grew up, everybody there had straight hair, like, you know, beautiful, long, straight hair. And my mom was like the only curly, not even curly, she had wavy hair. She has wavy hair, it's beautiful. And then there's me and my sister's hair. So when I got the perm, your girl was loving it. Like I, and I was surprised at how long my hair actually was because like my hair shrinks, shrinkage is real with my hair. And when I perm my hair, it was like past my shoulders. Although it never grew past that length, so I, I never thought about that then, but I loved it. Um, so yeah, fast forward, I kept getting them like every six weeks, I would do them. And then, um, when did this happen? In 2015. I, oh, I got a new job. Wait, I'm skipping stories, my bad. Okay, so we moved to New York in 2012, no, 2010. I was constantly getting my perms, but now I was doing um, wash, wash and go, or wash and blow. Well, I would, get, I would go to Dominicans and they would blow out my hair, and I was even more in love, like my hair was flowy, it was not oily, it was just amazing. So I stuck with one Dominican woman for a while until I met my best friend Ashley and she introduced me to her hair lady and she was even better. So I, I switched up on my lady and I went to this new lady in the Bronx and she is amazing, like she does really, really good, good hair. Anyways, um, so that was in 2015, I switched my hair lady. She did an amazing job with my hair. I'm gonna insert some pictures to show you, like my hair was actually growing and it was doing great. My other friend at the time, she used to get keratin treatments. And she used to ask me like, oh, why don't you just get keratin treatment? Because you know, it's, it's better than a perm, it lasts longer, although it's more expensive, it lasts longer, and it would work good for your hair. Me over here, I'm so freaking gullible. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I like your hair, it's so long and beautiful. I think she used to wear clip-ins though, because I, I didn't, I don't think all of that was her real hair. I don't know about that, but anyways, I was like, 
Hmm, maybe I should do it. So I say, I can't remember the exact month or whatever, but let's just say I had a perm like two weeks ago. I went and do did my keratin treatment today. And my hair lady, she speaks Spanish, not that fluent in English, so there was a language barrier. So, I mean, again, another red flag, like why would you let somebody do your hair where you can't communicate with them what you want and... I don't know, I don't know what, what I was thinking, like, anyways. Um, so yeah, I went and I was like, I'm telling her like, oh, I want a keratin treatment. And she's like, keratin, yeah. Um, she said something in Spanish, I don't know what she said. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe, she, but I feel like even if she did tell me like, oh no, you should wait, it's too soon to do it. You just had a treatment, you just had a perm, you shouldn't do it. Like, I would have understood like, no, no, don't do it. But I felt like nothing like that was communicated. And, and we did it, I did it. And my hair, I noticed it was extremely thin. Like as soon as like I she blew it out and stuff, it was thinner than usual. And I mean, it was super soft. It was beautiful. It was just very thin. So I didn't really question her because you know she was telling me, yes, um, you know it's less frizzy, so it's more flat. Something whatever. I don't know what she was saying again. And the, the person next door was trying to explain it to me. Um, yeah. So that night, I think, or a couple nights later, we, me and my boyfriend at the time, we went out and he was rubbing. I still have time, why not? He was rubbing his hand through my hair and he's like, babe, you kind of, you got like a patch or something there. And I'm like, huh? I was like, what are you talking about? So I, I put my hand through my hair and I could feel there was like one set of hair was, was like this length and then the other set was like this length and I'm like, I started panicking and I was like, and he was like, calm down, calm down. I was like, um, I don't know, who, like what happened? <laughs> Where'd your hair go? But he was trying to calm me down. I'm like, I had a, a treatment. I don't know if this is what that did it to it. And I was like, I need to go right now. So I went, I grabbed the mirror and I looked at my hair and it was legit. Some hair up to here, rest of here. It was in this back part. And then in the middle was the worst. The middle part was, it was one, two, three, all in the middle. And then it was like, I cried, I think I cried. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I mean, what are you gonna do? I had to cut my hair. And ever since then, I was just like, I am not doing anything to my hair ever again. No chemicals, no heat, nothing. I'm gonna let this hair, well, I cut it in a bob because I was scared to do the whole big job. So I cut it, the shortest one was like hair, so I cut it in a bob. And, um, so I was rocking and bob for a little bit, but I stopped perming my hair. So as my hair grew a little bit, it was like that weird, it was like curly, curly, straight. And then I just slowly, as my hair grew, cut the ends of it. So right now my hair is still a weird shape, like in the middle is short, in the front is long. These sides are, this side is longer than this side. It's like all types of crazy. So I have to go to a hair salon to shape it. Um, I just need, to find one that I like and I love and there's really good with natural hair because <clears throat> so far like I haven't trusted anyone with my hair since I'm the only one that touched my hair and Justin Justin's trimmed my hair a few times and then I went over and trimmed it over and I think that messed it up but yeah that was what happened that's why I went natural God just had a different plan for me and I don't regret it I don't regret it at all. Like I, 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 <laughs> I love my hair. I get, I have a love and hate relationship with it right now because sometimes it just doesn't do what I want it to do. 
and sometimes it's like, okay, I'll work with you. But yeah, um, yeah, that's that's the story of why I went natural. So, thinking that I missed anything else. No. Don't be a copycat, guys. If you see something working for someone and, I mean, by all means, inquire about it, but do your research. Do your research and preferably you understand your hair lady, you know, whatever language you speak, whatever they speak, you understand and you explain to them, this is what you want, is this okay to do, yada, yada, yada. But, Everything happens for a reason. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment, share, or not. You can just like and subscribe. You don't gotta do the others. Um, thank you for watching. If you've made it to the end, I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys soon.